Welcome to Master Traders Weekly Trade Review. I'm Dan Gibby, and we have an amazing lesson here today, which I'm going to start with the compelling trade setup as a bearish one, two, three continuation breakdown. But there's so many lessons learned that revolve around the setup. So we're going to take it in a step-by-step -step fashion. We are technical based traders. No setup, no action, as I, I tell our subscribers and students. These are just nine beautiful pictures, simple red and green candlesticks, but every one of these are bullish setups. Then we take that setup, the first part of the Master Trader Technical Strategies approach, and we overlay our other concepts, which you're going to see in this video. Where is this picture in the overall trend? What do multiple time frames suggest? Is the pattern on support or resistance, if you're talking short? Is it showing relative strength or weakness? Do any volume characteristics help? What are the broader markets doing? Once we have a compelling setup, then we simply enter and manage in between with the calculated position size per your trading plan and manage it to conclusion. This is AAP. This is, we're going to come back to this. It's a bearish one, two, three continuation setup, which let me come back here. This is a bullish one, two, three continuation. It's a wide range bar. What's a wide range bar? Big fat green bar with little or no tails. Keep it simple, stupid. Then we have one or more inside bars. And then over the high is our entry for a bullish setup. Every one of these applies equally to the short side. So as I mentioned, we put that picture and then we go through the rest of our analysis. But I want to start, because we're going to come to this picture, I want to start a little bit back in time, which is going to show why this is a compelling pattern. This actually was a bullish 1-2-3 continuation as I just described it. I have a wide range igniting bar. I have an inside bar that's staying in the upper third. Uh, you know, moving averages here. Every one of our daily charts, the blue is the 20, green 50, red 200, not shown here. And we use moving averages just to help speed up the process. So this was a potential bottoming pattern. The, the 20 MA came down sharp, it stabilized. I had a closing breakout. That was a very viable long over the high. It didn't trigger. We have a breakout failure, got slammed all the way back down to this prior breakout level, and that's bearish. Does that mean I have a setup, an event to trade? No, it's just an observation. Lesson number two, breakout failure, topping tail. Bar by bar analysis is at the high of that daily bars turn, that was a bullish wide range green bar. It closed with a topping tail. What does that mean? Sellers took control intraday and slammed it right back down. So that coupled with this is bearish. Does that mean I do anything? No. I have bearish price action at the 20 MA. So I have green bar, it's stabilized. I have red bar, I have green bar. It's just going sideways. But the fact that there was no follow through to this green bar, the fact that I can't get two green bars in a row, the fact that I'm making lower highs here, lower lows, now I have a closing breakdown. So that actually was a shortable event right there is a breakdown. You can notice that it gapped here because the candlesticks, obviously, the, the closing price and the opening price, it was, a, it, was an, it was an igniting gap breakdown under the 20, under the 50 period moving average. I have a bullish gap up, topping tail, same analysis as I mentioned over here. At the high of the day, it was a big fat green bar at resistance. And then it closed weak with a topping tail at the converging 20 and 50 period moving average. That is bearish price action in the short term and intermediate term. Price action are telling me to short bearish setups. Next one, here's the next bar. A gap down greater than 100% retracement. 
wide range igniting bar, range expansion. If you look at the size of the normal bar, the range from the high to the low expanded with a bearish real body. And so that's bearish. Now the bearish one, two, three continuation breakdown. So I see, it, I could have started with this slide, right? Here's a bearish one, two, three wide range bar. And I have one or more inside bars that stay in the lower third. Now what makes this one even more likely as a high probability short is we call this a correction candle. This candle here traded over a prior inside bars high and still didn't get above a third retracement into this. So that makes this setup even more potent. Everything we've just been talking about, if this trades under this low, there's nothing here to the left, it has room to fall. This was the, this is a close trade. This is in the open and close spreadsheet for our, in our members area. It shows the stock symbol, the date, the strategy, stock or option, the technical setup, and how we manage it in between. So we shorted the stock under the lows. Here's the pattern. Bearish one, two, three continuation breakdown at the, under the 20 period moving average. We just went into simple trail mode and under or over a prior bars high, you can cover um, part of it. And unfortunately, this bar right here stopped us out in a, in a trail mode. So we, we made a beautiful game, but the stock did keep uh, retracing. Part of our, our trade management rules include if it's not near its destination, which in this example is support, then you would only cover a half over a prior bars high, let it retrace and pivot, and then we trail pivots until it gets closer to its destination, which is support or climactic. Go to mastertrader.com forward slash advisory swing ladder, and this is where we give the stock and options trades based upon our technical approach. As always, any questions, email my partner Greg Kapper or me good trading and look forward to seeing you in the next trade review video.